Aquarius, welcome to your weekly love reading for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. This is for October 22nd to the 31st. So lions, my newbies, by the way, um, I always give her my meditative session first, which is energy that I pick up in and around you. So it's energy that you could be experiencing directly or someone within your environment could be experiencing or someone you're energetically attached to. And it is energy. It's fluid. It's not linear. So it can be a uh, reverse or vice versa. Okay, so I'm just going to play with the cards while I talk about my meditative session. I realize when I play with the cards and I'm focusing on energy, a lot more stuff tends to come through. And then I'll just show you the cards too as they come out. They're not calibrated. I'm just showing you here. Font and reverse Taurian energy. Interesting because Leo's, they actually show me a really sad visual when I was meditating on your energy. They show me the polar bears on their little tiny diminishing islands of ice and like starvation. It was like, ah. Oh. Leo, I don't feel like this is you. I feel like it's someone you're connecting with. Keep in mind, it can be vice versa. Whoever is feeling this isolated energy, they feel like they're on an island of their own. They really do. Like, they feel like they're an island of their own. They could have put themselves there. Like, it could just be a hermit mode. But there's, there's, there's a little hint of, like, sadness there. There's a little hint of sadness there. I do feel a little bit of a longing, Leo. So whether this is you or someone you're connecting with, someone is missing someone, for sure. Oh, Thank you, Spirit. Um, they're confirming for me. You miss each other. You miss each other. There's a group of you here where this is someone that you have feelings for, and they have feelings for you too, and you two are missing each other, but you're not really doing a lot of talking. Interesting. And like I said, they could have put themselves there, Leo. Oh, I didn't even realize I had peak ears. It's funny how that happens. Temperance in reverse, sad energy. Um, there might just be a need to heal. This person could have isolated themselves to heal. But like I said, for some, they didn't isolate themselves. Like it almost just seems like oh, I, the oh, ice, uh, ver, uh, Jesus, uh, ice terminology. I was going to say drifting. For some, there could have just been a, a natural drifting here. Either way, you two do, Jesus, you two do miss each other. Ooh, seven of swords with the, oh my God, oh my God. We had a lot of peekers here. Seven of swords, ace of pence in reverse, ace of swords, and... Is that the two? Two of swords in a verse. Okay, there was some, like, there's some illusions. I'm actually getting more illusions over dishonesty. It... I feel like someone's just not being honest with themselves, actually. I feel like someone's not being honest with themselves and in a way that kind of has led to drifting and missed opportunities here. Yeah, yeah, that's kind of what I'm getting with this. It's almost like Constantly wondering what the other person is kind of feeling or thinking, but not really being too sure. And then you just kind of lie to yourself about the situation. You like It's almost like hiding the situation within yourself. Oh, interesting. Um, yeah, hiding the situation within yourself where it's like you don't really want to examine it. So you just tell yourself it's not what it is. And then drifting happens. And then before you know it, it's like there's been some kind of sabotage. It's all because... There just hasn't been clarity. There hasn't been clarity in, in whatever the situation is here, Leo, with you and this other person. That's interesting. There hasn't been clarity. I'm, I'm getting a download about uh, dating. Interesting. For my single Leo who's been on the dating scene for a while. You guys are tired of it. No. <laughs> Don't need a vision to know that, right? <laughs> anyway, which one is this? The King of Cups in reverse. Interesting. You could have been dealing with people who are very emotional and available uh, for my Leos who are on the dating scene here, okay? Um... Yeah, those who are on the dating scene, I think you're just tired of the same. Same, the same, the same. It's like you might as like they've been dating the same people. Sometimes when that happens, guys, I'm just the messenger. It's something within us that's attracting that. Okay, so just keep that in mind. Um, I'm just being honest. I'm just being honest here. Dating game's not not really fun. I'm just <laughs> so I'm with you, Leos. I feel you. I feel your pain there. I feel your pain there. Anyway, that was for some of my single Leos that I was picking up on. But back to the polar bear energy that I was picking up on. So Leos. Regardless of who this person is to you, you two do miss each other and you do think about each other quite a bit. I don't, I think you're not sure if you guys do. Ace of Pentacles in reverse came out again. Yeah, you feel like there's been a missed opportunity with this person. I don't think it's too late though, because the other thing I was picking up on in the meditative session, Leo, I was picking up on magic, actually, which was kind of cool. I was picking up on magic and magic is just energy. It's just energy, guys. Uh, you could be in manifestation mode. I actually, if, oh, oh, interesting. You're in manifestation mode. You don't even realize it. For those of you where you're in this group of where you're missing someone and they are missing you and there's been like a drifting of sorts or some kind of separation, I feel like it's more just a drifting as like opposed to a hardcore separation here, okay? And again, don't try to make things fit, guys. Take things as they resonate. Um, 
there's like brewing energy around you, Leo, that feels very magical. It feels very fantastical. It feels very positive. But the fact that it's slowly brewing like that tells me you're manifesting. It's not like spirits like boom, energy. It's like building, 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 building. And if you're missing someone and thinking about them, you could be manifesting them back in, okay? Whoa, <laughs> as I say that, hermit with the 10 of cups and the king of freaking pentacles. Oh yeah, whoever whoever's on this little island here, whether it's you, Leo, or someone else, you two could be on islands of your own, by the way. You could be on your island, they could be on their island. Either way, whoever's on an island here can't stop thinking about 10 of cups with someone who is very committed and very uh, providing. I'm getting providing and gen oh, generous. Oh, I like that. Generous generous someone wants someone wants someone wants commitment here someone wants happy commitment um happy commitment <laughs> sorry i know words are coming out really strange here guys i'm just really in it um not really paying attention how the words are coming out someone wants commitment someone wants a happy home thank you happy home a happy relationship here and someone who's on an island can't stop thinking about that leo i feel like one person's thinking about how to do it the other person's kind of stuck in like a four of cups five of cups energy okay so one per now we have a king of swords coming out here, trying to gain clarity in the situation. That's the person who's planning for sure. Yeah, Leos, I feel strongly here. One person's on an island. Think about how to make this happen. The other person's on their island, feeling a little alone, feeling isolated, feeling possibly even rejected for some. Interesting. But Leo, there is magic around you brewing. And when I say magic, guys, I mean energy. Brewing around you whether you realize it or not okay and in the meditative session i was picking up on the possible will, the impossible will now be possible whatever you thought you couldn't make happen you can make happen so leo if you want to be with this person but you weren't sure you can make it happen you can you very much can you very much can here okay um ooh, temperance in reverse and four of wands in reverse uh faulty faulty ways of looking at things need to fall away self-doubt needs to fall away negative self-talk needs to fall away to make this happen these two sorry they're showing me such a funny visual these two islands can can drift together again okay um you just got to pull them in and i think a lot of you are doing that subconsciously already especially by thinking about them so much yeah, especially by thinking about them so much. And Leo, keep in mind, you could be either one of these people. So you could be feeling alone and rejected and not realizing someone's kind of pulling you in here. Okay. Um, for my single people who don't have anybody, I do. Oh, that sounded so weird the way that came out. Sorry, guys. <sighs> Ten of swords in reverse. Um, for my single, as I was talking about my singles, I think, like I said, you're very much over the dating game. You're you're tired of the same old shit, same old stories, same old people. You're just tired of it, and you, you just don't have a much fuel left in the tank here. But manifestation energy is very much around you, too. I'm telling you, I'm feeling all these doors that are possible to open. You just have to see it. Like, quite literally, you just have to see it. You just have to start believing it. And when we... Oh, no, I did say that. I was going to talk about dating the same people. I'm not going to go there again. I could feel some of you guys were getting triggered. Sorry, Leos. Anyway... Back to my single people here who are in this dating rut. Um, you can manifest what you want out of the situation. Eight of Swords. You just have to see it. Get out of this. You just have to see it. You just have to see it. Spirit wants to work with you. And like I said, a lot of you are manifesting subconsciously for those who have someone that you're already thinking about. Okay, Leos, let's go ahead and get the cards calibrated here. I can't believe I spent eight minutes on the meditative session. Yeah, I kind of like playing with the cards. I think I'm going to do that from now on while I talk about the energies because it seems like a lot more stuff wants to come out. Okay. Please bring forth any messages for true healing and love for those who need it for Leo. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, October 22nd to the 31st. Please bring forth any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it for Leo. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, October 22nd to the 31st. I just heard Gentle Lion. Interesting, Leo. I just heard gentle lion. Hmm. Something has softened about you, Leo, recently. I feel like for those who are more in, um, more in the, yeah, more for the group that's, you're, yeah, you actually have someone in mind that you're, th that you're missing. <laughs> I can speak. Uh, I feel like that's for those who have someone in your mind that you're missing here. There's something about the, the energies at play that softened you on something. Um, you could have spent some time being very frustrated with this person or with the situation. And now it's almost like, almost like you've worn yourself down a little bit with frustration. Because it takes energy to be frustrated, right? And now instead of being frustrated, you're just like, 
Well, shit, I just miss, miss this person. <laughs> I just miss them. Uh, oh, interesting. Okay, I'm getting another download here. Um, I feel like the planner, the one who's like, how can I make this happen? How can I make this happen? I feel like some of these planners didn't think, it's almost like they, they tested what they were feeling. Interesting. Where I feel like that there was a natural drifting happening, but it was like, well, let me just let this happen. If we're drifting, then it must be for a reason. I feel like this was like some of these planners' logic, whether it's Yuli or someone else. Yeah, let, I'll just let this happen. If we're drifting, it must be for a reason. And then I'll, only to realize, oh no, I actually do really miss this person. I really do want something. I do want to build something with this person. Wow, interesting. Okay. Please don't forget messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, October 22nd to the 31st. Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Leo. Oh, Ace of Swords came out again. So communication. Uh, communication and truth. Realizations as well. Oh. Sorry, I was getting hit with a lot of stuff. I just wanted to sort through it. Uh, Leo's, those planners. Again, not all the planners here who are like trying to plan and figure out how to make this happen. Um, some of you, like I said like almost experimented with your feelings here a little bit, only to find out the truth. Only to find out the truth. Um, I think there was a point in time where you really thought, no, maybe I don't feel anything for this person whatsoever. You've had a change of mind with those butterflies. You had a change of mind, a change of perspective here. But I do feel that there's, I do feel that there's communication about to happen. Oh, the emperor. Aries energy, Taurus energy, divine masculine energy. Oh, I do feel a little bit of a presentation. I do feel a little bit of an offer here. Ace of Swords can also be contracts. Can also be contracts. Uh, I, I'm actually, I'm feeling text messaging. Um, it could also be just any digital form, but like, it's funny that they were giving me text, text, the word text. Um, yeah, the word text, like literally the word text. I'm like, is there any other way that could have come in for? I mean, they could write a letter, but who writes letters nowadays, right? Yeah, I feel, I feel a very, um, a very eye-opening text coming in here from an emperor, from an emperor, from a masculine energy. Wheel of Fortune in reverse, Jupiter energy. Yeah, this whole like being on, on two different islands has has caused not necessarily stagnation, but just a feeling of like, are things ever going to move in the right way? Are things ever going to feel good? Oh man, are things ever going to feel amazing again? It just feels like there's been a lot of lacking of excitement and fire in the situation here, Leo. It, even if you're just on an island of your own and you're totally single, not thinking about anybody and you're tired of the dating game and dating the same people who just disappoint you over and over. Or if you are on an island and you're thinking about someone else who's on another island that you've drifted away from and that you two miss each other quite a bit. Um, there's just been this sense of major, massive slowdown, lack of excitement, lack of fire. Will that ever change? It can, Leo. And I feel like this emperor wants to make that happen here and deliver some truth in the process to make it happen. Ooh, yeah, Eight of Wands in reverse, Sag energy. Also my Mercury retrograde card, which starts on Halloween. We are in the pre-shadow effect here. But yeah, this miscommunication, lack of communication, lack of forward movement, I just get major slowdown, major slowdown. Please bring forth any other messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. Please bring forth any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, October 22nd to the 31st. I know what I want. Just right, I know what I want. I know what I want. Yeah, my planners, you're coming to that point where you do know what you want because you either want to make it happen with this person or for those on your islands where you're totally single, not thinking about anybody. It's like while you're on this island, again, my true, true, true single people here. Um, it's almost like you're taking the time to figure out exactly what it is you want and know how to, oh, and understanding how to look for it. I like it. Understanding how to look for it here, okay? You can manifest this person. I'm telling you, my, my truly single Leos, you can manifest this person. There's energy around my Leos right now where it's like, the spirit wants to work with you. Spirit really wants to work with my Leos right now, regardless of whatever situation you're in. You can make it happen. 
It's not impossible. Get rid of the self-doubt. Get rid of the negative self-talk. It's very much possible. Okay. I feel like the cards are pretty calibrated. So let's go ahead and get into the actual reading. 15 minutes in. Let's do it. Um, for those who are new to my channel, new to tarot, please know these messages are very, very general. Okay? Messages come through to those who need them, as you heard me set the intention. We are working with energy, so just know that messages can be reversed or vice versa. These messages can't resonate with everybody, so take things as they resonate. If it's not your story, it's not your story. Don't try to make it fit. Don't throw any throw any hate or shade. Check out any other reader on YouTube. Okay? Um, also, guys, don't get caught up on the gender of the cards. We all have masculine, feminine energy. This is for the 22nd to the 31st, but as we know, time is not linear, and we all work through energy differently at different rates. Okay? Any other information or questions, look below. All right. Let's get started. Any messages for Leo? Regarding love, October 22nd to the 31st. Any messages for Leo? Any messages for Leo regarding love, October 22nd to the 31st? This is interesting. I've been getting visuals of this a lot in the last couple weeks for different signs. I feel like Virgo or, Ge Virgo or Gemini might have had this. Um, I'm seeing ravens. I'm seeing ravens. And I do feel like it is about, uh, like, oh, no, just show me the justice card. Uh, yeah, I was about to say justice. I was like, oh, there we go, justice. Uh, it's about, I, I'm getting, like, a, a balancing of karmic justice here, Leo. <coughs> I feel like there's, I was about to say communication. Jeez, ah, I can't even talk fast enough. Leo's, I feel like there's some very, very um, detailed, clear communication that needs to happen here to alleviate any confusion. I feel like there's been confusion in the situation for those where you have someone that you've been thinking about and who's been thinking about you. It's like things just ambiguous. That's the word. Thank you. There's been amb ambiguity here between the two of you and that really needs to be cleared up. That really needs to be cleared up. Any messages for Leo? Any messages for Leo regarding love? October 22nd to 31st. Any messages for Leo regarding love, October 22nd to the 31st? Ooh, high priestess, Piscean energy, also Gemini for me as a reader. Yeah, shit needs to be cleared up here. There's a lot that is just like not really said or spoken or known between the two of you. And it's interesting because, excuse me. I do feel manifestation energy with this. Even though it's the high priestess, it's typically not a manifestation energy. I feel like someone is in a high priestess mode. High, and if someone is a high priestess energy or that kind of a ranking, they can definitely manifest whatever the hell they want to here, okay? Um, Jesse, if I can pick up anything else. No, yeah, I just feel like there's a lot going on behind closed doors, especially like in the headspace between the two of you that needs to come out. It needs to come out, it needs to be spoken. Any other messages for Leo regarding love? October 22nd to the 31st. By the way, any of my single Leo females who are super single, if you're a high priestess, I'm sorry, I hate to break it to you. High priestess usually doesn't date. I'm sorry. High priestess is usually on reserve for someone who's of that caliber. And so the universe is going to protect the hell out of you from anyone who's not of your standing. So my single female Leos, I apologize. But if you are in this high priestess mode, and I feel some of you really much are, uh, dating might not work out so well right now. Okay, <laughs> I'm just letting you know. I'm just being honest here. Any other messages for Leo? Regarding love, October 22nd to the 31st. Any other messages for Leo regarding love? Ooh, the chariot. Can't Syrian energy. Ooh, I some, some of you are definitely in a high priestess mode here. This is a hell of a lot of forward movement. I feel like someone's rushing in. Rushing in, rushing in, rushing in. And I feel like there's manifestation behind this. Someone's manifested someone back in here, Leo. And like I said, it was like with that two island energy, one of you manifested the other in. One of you manifested the other in. I'm also getting heavy telepathy here. Yeah, I'm getting heavy telepathy. Heavy telepathy. Any other messages for Leo? By the way, you could be a Cancer Leo Cusper. Just saying. Any other messages for Leo? Any other messages for Leo regarding love, October 22nd to the 31st? 
I do feel secret moves as well. Interesting. Secret moves. What is a secret moves? Oh, wow. Okay. While one person is manifesting the other in, the person that's on the move is doing it in secret. Interesting, Leo. So, Leo, if you're the one on the move, the other person manifested you in. <laughs> no wonder you two can't stop thinking about each other. Um, very interesting. Very interesting. And keep in mind, guys, it can be vice versa. Any other messages for Leo regarding love? October 22nd to the 31st. Any other messages for Leo regarding love? October 22nd to the 31st. Let's see here. Whoa. Three of Cups. Cancerian energy. Overall energy. We have the Hierophant. Taurian energy. Whoa. With Ten of Swords. Uh, Gemini energy. Ten of Swords underneath that. And then we have the Five of Wands, which is a Leo energy here. This is really interesting to me, Leo, because Ten of Swords with the Five of Wands, that's a lot of fighting. That's a lot of fighting and indicative. I'm getting more pain than ending here. I'm definitely getting more pain than ending. Um, but with the Hierophant, Hierophant and the High Priestess. Her Hierophant is basically the High Priest, by the way. We've got two really intense uh, spiritual people here on the board, I just have to say. And I do, I really feel like it's a true pair situation. I, Leo, one of you is a High Priest and one of you is a High Priestess. This is not going to be for everybody. This is feeling a little intense here. Uh, this Five of Wands and this Ten of Swords... This, I'm going to call them the high priest because that's exactly who this person is. Definitely a high priest energy. They've been in a lot of pain over a lot of conflict and a lot of fighting. And it could have been their own inner conflicts. I feel for a lot of them is actually their own inner issues here. Um, just causing a lot of mental torture and pain. For some, this high priest was also dealing with other people, other energies. Betrayal. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Okay, whatever this high priest has been going through, they've been dealt with a lot of bullshit. A lot of bullshit people, and then as a result of that, they've had a lot going on in their head. A lot of arguing with themselves. A lot of arguing with themselves here. And it's almost like trying to stay grounded and trying to stay tapped into their intuition to know the best way to handle this situation. But they've had a lot of shit on their plate. I can feel it. It's like dealing with this person, deal with that person, deal with this shit, deal with that shit. They've had a lot going on, and all the while, it's like it's kind of been messing with them a little bit. Like their inner compass. Thank you. Yeah, it's been messing with the inner compass, which is why they try to stay tapped in so that they don't lose their inner compass and lose their direction. All the while, we've got a high priest, we got a high priestess with a chariot card. And I feel like this this high priest wants to come to this high priestess. Yeah, and I'm getting that secret moves here. I feel like this high priestess called in this high priest. Yeah, this high priestess called in this high priest. And this high priest will be making moves here towards this high priestess. And then three of cups to rejoice, celebrate, and a possible, re re eh, a possible reunion. <laughs> a possible reunion here. I'm getting bad ideas. Hold on. I know I'm getting a lot of information, guys. Just stick with me. <sighs> this high priest might have had a lot of toxic people around him. It's a male energy, so I'm going to say him, but it could be a female. Because um, it's energy. We read energy, not gender. Uh, I feel some people putting some ideas in this high priest's, priest's head here, adding some, adding a lot more confusion, a lot more confusion. I feel like this high priest um, might have had some wrong ideas about this high priestess or what has gone down. Again, ambiguity. That's why there needs to be communication between these two. Wow. Definitely that's why there needs to be communication between these two. So let's look at the cherry card attached to this high priestess. Mm. Let me just write a wait for this one. Whoa, <laughs> not taking those. I just got started. Turn out the chariot for Leo. Turn out the chariot for Leo regarding love. October 22nd to the 31st. Turn out the chariot. Turn out the chariot for Leo regarding love. October 22nd to the 31st. Tell me about the chariot for Leo regarding love, October 22nd to the 31st. Oh, that's a lot. That's a lot. Oh, that's a lot. Okay, they want me to take it, though. They want me to take it. So we have Justice in Reverse, Libra Energy, Ace of Pentacles in Reverse, so missed opportunity there. Whoa. 
Page of Swords in reverse. I'm getting miscommunication with that. And the Four of Cups in reverse. Uh, Cancerian energy. Oh, I heard Scorpio. Do we know the Scorpio? Um, Six of Pentacles, Taurian energy. Wow. Nine of Cups in reverse. Piscean energy with the Hanged Man, Piscean energy. And then we have the High Priest here again, Taurian energy. Yeah, this High Priest is definitely coming into this High Priestess for sure. Justice in reverse with the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. This needs to be this needs to be corrected, okay? This energy needs to be karmically corrected because it seems like there has been a missed opportunity here. It's almost like slipping through the fingers. An opportunity that's slipping through the fingers very, very quickly. And I feel like it's an opportunity slipping through the fingers of a high priest energy. With the miscommunication here. Actually, hold on. Let me get all. Of, oh, let's do these three. Page of Swords in a verse. Four of Cups in a verse. And the Six of Pentacles. Taurian energy. Um, I feel major miscommunication here where someone just feels. a Yeah, someone feels rejected. Someone feels forgotten about. Like, I can give you this for now. I can give you this for now. I can, like, it's kind of like, well, why bother? <laughs> Why bother? But again, it's all through miscommunication. There's a lot not being said between these two. A lot not being said between these two. And it's just led to a major misunderstanding. A major misunderstanding. And I feel like this high priestess is the one who feels a little rejected here. Um, not really wanting to deal with this high priest anymore, leading to a missed opportunity. But this high priest has been spending some major time in contemplation. Nine of Cups in a verse with the hanged man and the Hierophant. This high priest has been trying to figure out why they can't get their wish fulfillment. It's, it's, I don't mean to, I don't mean to laugh, but it is almost kind of funny where it's kind of like, both people clearly want the same thing, but a high priestess has felt like she wasn't get, she, I'm again, again, I'm saying she, cause it's a high priestess energy. It could also be a man. This high priestess has been feeling like you're not really, you're, you're giving, you're giving me a little bits, little bits, little bits, little bits. I'm a high priestess. I demand a little bit more than that. It's kind of what I'm getting with this. And I just feel like there's been a mis a misinterpretation of what the situation is because there's been a lot of holding back of the truth. All the while, this person over here is like, I'm giving this and the other. Why can't I really get my wish fulfillment out of this? Why is this not making me really happy? Because both are holding back. Ooh. Both are holding back. Let's see what else we got out of this. Tell me more about the chariot. Tell me more about the chariot. Judgment. Fire energy, also scorpionic energy for me as a reader, landed on the Hierophant here. Spirit is trying really hard, I feel like, to get these two people. Again, yeah, again, guys, there's energy around. Spirit wants to make this happen. Spirit's trying to work with you here to get this high priest and this um, high priestess together. I, I, I really feel like, come on, come on, you two. <laughs> I really feel that way. I really feel that way. I feel like Spirit's working more on the side of the of the um, High Priest here. Because I feel like there's actually a lot of blocks on this High Priest end. Like I said, for some, they've been dealing with a lot of bullshit people here. Um, putting ideas in this person's head for some, not for all. Either way, this High Priest has been way too in their head. And Spirit's just like, okay, get out of, just, just go. Like, stop thinking and just go. Stop thinking and just go. Um, I do feel like this High Priest was holding back a, a lot as far as energy is concerned. And at the same time, this high priestess is holding back a lot of truth. Specifically truth. Interesting. Tell me more about the chariot. Tell me more about the chariot for Leo. Tell me more about the chariot for Leo. Overall energy. Oh, I love it. Knight of Swords. Gemini energy could also be air or fire. Whoa. With the Empress. Libra energy, Taurus energy, divine feminine energy, three of wands with the page of freaking pentacles. Wow. And then we have the emperor in reverse. Okay, guys, it's it, it's so clear. Yeah, these two people are very spiritually connected. Okay, this could definitely be a counterpart situation. We have a high priest, high priestess ranking here. And now we have the emperor and empress. So, oh, hold on. Sorry, guys. So like I said, Knight of Swords, Gemini energy could also be air or fire, Empress, Libra, Taurus, it's Venusian, Three of Wands is Aries, Page of Pentacles with the Emperor in reverse, Aries energy, Taurus energy, Divine Masculine energy. Communications coming into this feminine energy, the Empress slash High Priestess here, and it's been long overdue. That Three of Wands, she's been expecting it. She's been expecting it. She's been expecting communication. She's also been expecting an offer with the Page of Pentacles. Emperor in reverse, though, I feel like, like I said, this, this masculine energy this high priest slash emperor has not exactly been in the best of head spaces very ungrounded energy but they've been trying to get grounded and trying to stay connected so they can basically just 
get enough clarity to do whatever it is they got to do in this situation and see it for what it is. Page of Pentacles, this Empress is expecting this Emperor to figure it out. Interesting. Yeah, she's expecting him to figure it out. And he will, because there's going to be communication coming in very, very quickly to this High Priestess Empress. Let's look at the Three of Cups. Let's look at the happy time. Let's look at the rejoicing and the two islands coming together, drifting to, drifting back together here, okay? Uh, actually, sorry, I'm going to get another sip. Mm -hmm. mm. By the way, guys, I think I said this on a Patreon video, but I want to make it clearer, because a lot of people thought I, I don't sell the mugs anymore. I do keep, I do sell the mugs. Check out the merchandise. Link is below. This is the uh, throat chakra mug for obvious reasons. <laughs> obvious reasons why I have I use this one. Um, but yeah, guys, there's still mugs. There are still mugs. So go ahead and check it out. And there's a lot of other merchandise on the store too. Mm. Okay. All right. Three of cups. Let's take a look at it. Let's take a look. Um, ooh, honest truth. Let's do the honest truth deck. So I have the three of cups. Yeah, this is a major coming together, guys. Spirit is trying so hard to work with you two. So hard to work with you two. But it's like, there's been too much of like, I'll give this, but I won't give that. I'll give this, but I won't give that. It's like, no, you're going to give. You want this to happen, you got to give. You got to give all truth. You got to give more than just a little tiny bit of your energy. Like, And, I, and I'm, I hate to say it, but I think it goes both ways, guys. I'm being honest here. I feel like the high priestess is holding back, and I feel like the high priest is also holding back. But the high priest also had some bullshit over on their end. I can see that. I can definitely see that. So I have the three of cups. For Leo. So I have the three of cups for Leo. Regarding love, October 22nd to the 31st. Some of the three of cups i'm hearing water therapy that's interesting water therapy some of you might need that uh if if leo isn't your sun sign or if you have like a lot of water in your chart you might want to take a look at that uh I, they're telling me specifically water therapy Ooh, yeah four of cups cancerian energy here again most another energy of waiting of waiting 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 time of the three of cups this high priestess has definitely felt forgotten about neglected or rejected for sure so I have the Three of Cups. So I have the Three of Cups for Leo. So I have the Three of Cups for Leo. Got a lot of Cancer energy here too, by the way. Wow, Three of Wands in reverse Aries energy. This I feel like this High Priestess just didn't expect this reconciliation to happen or this coming together to happen. Um, wow, okay, this high, that's what it is. This High Priestess is on the verge of giving up on waiting and it's almost like the second this high priestess stops waiting this emperor slash high priest comes in usually how law of attraction works once you release something it comes right back <laughs> right right so i have the three of cups because reconciliation's here it is this coming together is very much here this this hair font slash um sorry this high priest slash emperor though just really needs to get out of their head and stop dealing with bullshit people and make the move very much so because this this, this empress is is about to not wait anymore time about the three of cups again slipping through the fingers slipping through the fingers time about the three of cups for leo time about the three of cups for leo I'm getting an exhausted energy energy too. Hold on, two card, two more cards came out. I'm getting an exhausted energy from like the I'll give this, but I won't give this. I'll give this, but I won't give this. And I think that quickly blew out some of the fire and some of the excitement in the situation and patience. Oh. <laughs> and blew out the patience. Now I have the full and oh gosh, darn it. My emperors. Full in reverse. Aries energy could also be Aquarius because there's a Uranus card with the three of swords, Libra energy. Someone's a <sighs> this emperor is afraid to make a move because of pain. They're afraid to get hurt. They're afraid to get hurt. Mm -hmm. Time out the three of cups. I'm also getting some pride here, Leo. I'm just being honest. I do feel like it's on the side of the emperor. A little bit of pride and ego, and they are in reverse here because they're not in the greatest of headspaces. And like I said, for some, they're dealing with bullshit people here. And they're dealing with some betrayals going on in their inner circle as well. Time out the three of cups for Leo. 
It's only the three of cups. Yeah, it's only the three of cups for Leo. Oh boy. <laughs> Seven of Pentacles with the Page of Pentacles. That new perspective. How how do I do it? <laughs> how how do I approach? How do I extend this olive branch? How 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 do I do it? This emperor's trying to figure this shit out. How do I do it? Because at the end of the day, I'm terrified of getting hurt. I don't, I'm getting all the kinds of stuff. I don't want egg on my face. I don't want egg on my face. Do I, do I do this? Do I not do this? Do I do this? Maybe, maybe I need more time. Maybe I need more time to think about this. You've been thinking a lot, Emperor. You've been thinking a lot. Overall energy, we have eight of swords. Wow, with ace of pentacles in reverse. Don't give up, don't give up before you've even tried, Emperors. I'm getting that with this. It's almost like, well, maybe I already missed out anyway. This is how much thinking is going on in the Emperor's head. Should I do it? Should I not do it? If I do do it, do I do it this way? Do I not do it this way? You know what? Maybe I just shouldn't do it because I'm just going to get hurt anyway. But you know what? Oh my God. I, you know, I bet I missed the opportunity already. I'm sure I missed the opportunity already. Well, maybe I didn't. And it's just like, oh my God, stop. Stop it. Stop it. Oh, that's torture. Oh, that's exhausting. That's utterly, utterly exhausting. Uh, hold on a second. Mm. Emperors, just do it just do it and like i said there's a lot of manifestation potential i'm gonna say potential because the energy's there some of you might be doing it subconsciously already by just thinking about each other but leo if you're the emperor here get get out of your head you thought about it enough you thought about it to death literally to death you thought about it to death uh it, it, it's time to shit or get off the pot not to be too crude guys but it's just like you can be afraid of getting hurt as much as you want you can overthink, overthink, contemplate, contemplate, reassess, reassess, you know, do your little list, your pros, your cons, this way, that way, what if, what if, oh, you know what, lost it already, didn't, you can, you can keep doing that, that song and dance in your head, it's just going to exhaust you even more, and really discourage you from going forward, but like I said, whatever you don't think is possible, is possible, whatever you think you can't have, or can't do, you can have, and can do, Leo, uh, especially again talking about emperors here more so than my empresses empresses just feel rejected the empresses just feel rejected and they just feel like strung along that's what it is that's what it is they feel strung along that's the perfect way to describe how this empress slash high priestess is feeling this empress slash high priestess has been feeling very much strung along and they are tired of it and they are literally about to just give up on this opportunity altogether they still expect this emperor to come forward but they're they're literally just about to be like well screw it i'm not gonna i'm not gonna <laughs> both of you are like marrying each other i'm not gonna get egg on my face and the emperor's like i'm not gonna go forward and get hurt and get egg on my face you both want the same goddamn thing <laughs> you both want it you both want it emperors it's time to make a move should i get off the pot because this empress is literally about to just be like fuck it Fuck it. They definitely feel like they've been getting strung along. All the while, the the hair the hair font, the high priest emperor has just been like, why can't why can't I get my wish fulfillment out of this? I actually, you know what? Okay, I can see. Okay, thank you. Um, where those were, this is a counterpart situation. There has been a very interesting dance between masculine and feminine energies, and I feel like I'm looking at a counterpart situation for some of you where the masculine energy has been put on timeout. And actually, I was talking about this in the podcast with Justin Reed. Guys, check out that episode. It's actually really, really interesting. Uh, it's episode 19, I believe. It's on the podcast Soberish. Anyway, um, I feel like it's exactly what I'm looking at. Is exactly what we talked about in that podcast where Mars and Venus were both in Libra for four days. And it's like the whole time Venus has been trying to catch up to Mars. Feminine been trying to catch up to the masculine energy. They were hanging out together for a while. And then Venus took off. And there's going to be a period of time where they line up again. But... It's like as Venus took off, the masculine energy just like went on timeout, <laughs> just literally sat their butts down, energetically speaking. And I feel like that's exactly what I'm looking at here, like catching up, being strung along, strung along, strung along. And then all of a sudden it's like, well, pff, I don't got to wait around for this shit. Why would I, why would I want to wait around and keep getting strung along here while the masculine energy is just like, why am I not getting what I want? Again, not to, I'm not bashing men here, but I'm just, this is exactly the energy that, that this is. Why am I not getting what I want? Didn't I give enough? Stringing along, stringing along, stringing along. Because both, and I have to be very clear about this, both energies were holding back. 
both energies are holding back in some way, shape, or form. I feel like uh, this masculine energy is holding back truth and energy. This empress energy was holding back truth. This empress was giving energy, though, for sure. And now it's just like, well, I don't need to wait around for this if this emperor is, you know, gonna sit, you know, just, just gonna sit and do nothing about it. All the while, the emperor is all up in their head about this shit. Should or get off the pot, guys. Should or get off the pot. Okay. Okay. Actually, you know what? Let's pull the soul's journey card before I pull any advice. I think some soul journey cards are required for this one. Uh, any messages or takeaways, Spirit, that you have for my Leos regarding this spread? It's amazing because the only character cards, like I said, that have come out are the Empress, the Emperor, the High Priest, and the High Priestess. Definitely a very, very intense little connection here. Uh, not just a true pair, but it's very, very spiritual connection. There's telepathy between these two. Strong telepathy. Strong telepathy. Also indicative of a power couple. in the. I feel like in the making. In the making. In the making. They're telling me in the making. These, these two, okay, I'm sorry, guys. The, the destinies of these two definitely align. They do, they align. And Spirit's trying really hard to work with, uh, I feel like mostly the hair font here, mostly the high priest, because I feel like the Empress has done everything that the Empress can do. Any messages or takeaways for my Leos regarding this spread? Any messages? Any messages or take? whoa, whoa, whoa indecision <laughs> i love these cards i use my intuition in all aspects of life oh my god that's so freaking perfect i'm gonna say it again guys indecision i use my intuition in all aspects of my life hierophants my high priests my emperors get out of your head get out of your head because it's just causing you to be indecisive here okay see what else we got any other takeaways or messages for my leos regarding this spread Let's see here success i know there is no greater goal than to love by giving you can't hold back and both of you both of you I feel like I'm like I feel like I'm talking down to people I'm sorry I don't mean to sound so berating I really don't but I'm just it's just kind of an amazing read anyway success I know there is no greater goal than to love empresses you've been holding back some truth let's be honest let's be real you weren't showing all your cards and I under I get it I understand I understand but there's no power and control when it comes to unconditional love there's not and I do feel like it's a, I do feel like it's energy about control empresses I'm just being honest here with what I'm getting. It's not going to be for all of you, but it's definitely for some of you. And my emperors, you were holding back truth as well. And I do feel it, it mirroring the empress a little bit out of control or a power game or whatever, whatever your ego wanted to wanted to say about that. Um, but also energy, okay? Causing a major imbalance, a major imbalance. And when it comes to love and unconditional love, there is no control. There is no power tripping thing. There's none of that. Okay. And there is honesty. <laughs> there is definite honesty here. There can be success in the situation. Overall, oh, we have happiness. I'm aware that being happy means that I am on the right path. My emperors, while being on your island, this is what you've been feeling. This is what you've been dealing with. Doesn't exactly look very happy, right? Being away on your own island here, away from this empress, is clearly not the right path. And you, you, I think you've already known that. I don't even think you need me to tell you that. But coming together in, in a reconciliation or a reunion of some kind, I think is going to bring a lot of happiness here. Happiness and success is tangible. You just have to see it. You just have to believe it and get to manifest in here. Get to co-creating with spirit because they're trying real damn hard. <laughs> they're trying real damn hard to help make this happen here, okay? Oh my God. And look what was underneath that. Courage. I find the inner strength to face fear. Where's that full card? With confidence. Don't be afraid of getting hurt. It's, I've talked about fear before, so I don't want to fall down the rabbit hole of fear. Um, but guys, when it comes to fear, fear is an illusion. It really is. It really is. Think of what the things you're afraid of. Afraid of. Think about that. Are any of them actually happening? 
99.9% of the time they're not. If we're talking about like, you know, if you know you're dying or something like that, that's a little bit of a different realm here. But when it comes to interacting with people in relationships and like, do I say that thing? Do I have that conversation? What are you afraid of? You're afraid of something that's not actually happening to you. That's why it's an illusion. There's, there's a waste of energy to be afraid of things that are not actively happening. It's a waste of energy because they're not actually happening, right? That's why it's an illusion. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Okay, now let's get some advice and then we'll close this out. Leah, well, this was kind of an intense one. I didn't mean to get all soapboxy, guys. I apologize. I really didn't. I really didn't. Any advice for my Leos? Any advice for my Leos regarding this spread? 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 Any advice for my Leos? Ah, oh, Starfish Spirit open to infinite possibilities. 59, break it down to a five. Like I said, what did I say? There's so many doors, so many options, so many things that Spirit's trying to make happen for you, Leo. You just have to see it. You just have to see it. You just have to open those doors. You just got to co-create with them. They're here. They're here. This, this connection is very powerful. It's very spiritual. It's very powerful. And again, I know this is not for everybody, but this kind of energy and this kind of a connection carries so much energy that it can literally make, <laughs> that this connection can literally make the impossible possible. It can make what you thought you could never have tangible, what you thought you could never do happen or, or capable. You know what I'm trying to say here? You know what I'm trying to say? Open to infinite possibilities. You can do a lot here with this person and also with the manifestation energy that's around you here, okay? You just have to literally believe it and see it. And ego blocks that. I just feel the need to point that out. Ego blocks that. What? As we talk about blocking, we get the boundary card. Rabbit spirit. Now is a lucky time with the boundary card, the armadillo. Leo, stop blocking this. I feel like this is actually acting as like a block, not, not advice. I feel like it's saying, hey, you've got some fertile opportunities coming here. And this, this connection is also very fertile and can open a lot of doors for both of you. It's, it's, you, ah, stop it. Just stop blocking it. Stop blocking it with the ego. Stop blocking it with being in your head. Stop blocking it with the fear. And fear does come from ego. Stop blocking it. Okay. Stop it. Okay. Any other advice for my Leos? Oh my God. And then the high priestess card comes out. Owl spirit, you see clearly now. 43 breaking down to a seven. Being tapped into, into your intuition. Didn't we just get that with the indecision card? Yeah. I use my intuition in all aspects of life. This is about fighting the ego. For my emperors, this is about fighting the ego. So you can truly see clearly and stop. You need to see, not think. Thank you, spirit. Ah, oh, thank you, spirit. You need to see, not think. This high priestess sees. This high priestess sees, which is also why they're at this point where they, well, first of all, they know their worth. They're not going to get strung along here. And it's like, okay, well, I've done what I can do. I've done what I can do. The em the empress can see. This emperor needs to start seeing. And it's it's definitely about fighting back some, e some ego-based tendencies here. Okay? All right. Get some more advice. Any other advice or extra messages for my Leos regarding this spread? Any other advice or extra messages for my Leos regarding this spread? Any other advice or extra messages for my Leos regarding this spread? Oh, interesting. Snake spirit, time to heal. 55. Ooh, with the dog spirit, be loyal to what you love. Cyclical energy. I like that. So like I said, even in the beginning, I was getting this energy that for some, you know, being on these islands was very healing as well. This is about healing loyalties. And I feel like it's the reveal revealing 
loyalties by really being honest by really being honest both parties by the way both parties not just the emperor both parties need to be very very honest here in this situation because there's a lot of love between these two there's a hell, hell of a strong ass spiritual connection as well these two are loyal to each other but there's no way these two are really going to cement that if it's not spoken if it's not addressed okay if it's not revealed and that's going to heal this that's going to heal this I also like this empress. <clears throat> it's not that this empress completely distrusts the emperor either, but it's 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 slowly increasing more. I, I hate to use the word trust because it's not like it's not the trust issue. It's like reliability. This empress is starting to look at this emperor as being very unreliable, and that's getting and that's getting uh, exponentially uh, amplified as time goes on. And as the situation just continues to be two islands separate, it needs to, it needs to be, you know, needs to merge. It needs to merge, needs to come together, start working with spirit, start working on the ego, all the stuff we went over here, okay? Because it's very possible to have this, but it's slipping, through the, it's slipping through the fingers. It's slipping through the fingers at this point. This empress is at the end of the rope. They're about to make that decision of like, I'm not waiting anymore for this, for this, okay? All right, Leos, I hope that that was very informative. Don't forget to go on Patreon and Vimeo as well for those interested in the monthly readings that I have on Patreon, on Vimeo. They're for single purchase. And yes, they're completely different videos than I have here on YouTube, okay? All right, guys, I love you. I hope you guys have a really nice week and a really nice night, okay? Namaste.